Hello everybody and welcome back to Norwich Talk for the first transfer speculative rumour type video um, kicking off the transfer rumour season. Now usually we'd be quite deep into the summer transfer window, however we're not because obviously everything that's going on in the world at the moment which is um, fairly bizarre. But in today's video we're going to be going over Jacob Sorensen who is a name that's been touted with Norwich for a while. There was a Pinkin article the other day basically confirming that he was going to join Norwich. Now when that will get announced who knows. Um, so this will remain a speculation video because we don't actually know for certain yet but going by that Pinkin an article of which the link will be in the description down below um, you can sort of assume it's going to happen now this is a signing I'm a little bit excited for I usually get excited for Norwich City transfers because Stuart Webb has been so good at them in the past however the summer transfer window last season wasn't particularly brilliant hence um, one of the main reasons we got relegated from the Premier League um, but Jacob Sorensen let's just go over some facts quickly he's 22 years old he's six foot he's Danish and he's a defensive midfielder now that is the perfect recipe for an Alex Tetty replacement now I think that's what the this signing is. Um, I think he's very much meant to be a bit more of an athletic a Alex Tetty or something, just um, to bring a bit more athleticism to the sort of middle of the park, just in front of the centre-backs where Norwich really lack it. Because at the moment you've got Alex Tetty, who's 34. Um, I think he's in the last year of his contract next season. You've got Tom Tribal, who I don't know if he'll be here next season, to be honest with you. I think he's one of the players who'll get moved on by Norwich, um, and he just can't run anyway. And then for, beyond there, you're out of sort of defensive midfield options, unless you want to play like Kenny McLean there, and we've seen that that doesn't really work um, when you're looking to fill that specific role. So Sorensen could come in and sort of take over the reins from Alex Tetty. He's 22, of course, which is very young. Um, Norwich like to make young signings um, for the future, so hopefully this is one of them. Um, I would like to see him put into the team immediately, um, although uh, having said that I've not seen him play at all I don't think any of us have I don't think any of us really watch the um, the Super League or it's called which is the Danish Premier League but speaking of the Danish Premier League he plays for Esberg FB um, now the, the, the Danish Premier League is a, is a strange one it's quite fascinating as well um, in terms of the way it runs I thought I'd just go over it in this video which is that there's 26 games in the regular season um, the league then splits into a top six and the bottom eight the, in, and within them sort of mini leagues the teams play each other twice and the top of the top six group gets Champions League football when I think two teams below them play it out for Europa League football or maybe one place further down um, and then in the bottom eight I believe that the teams then fight to stay in the league and I think there's a Champions League place up for grabs in that as well which is a bit peculiar however that is it's quite interesting um, and I think it'll be a massive adjustment for him to come to English football because it's very straightforward here in English football isn't it in terms of the Champions Championship next season and it's just you play this amount of games you get promoted or relegated or you stay in the league um, but yeah I, I'd like to see that played in England at some point maybe um, give it a trial it, it looks a bit more interesting than just sort of the um, the straightforward league however I think there is sort of that complication um, and slight confusion now the thing that I think is most interesting from this is obviously the fact that he could be an Alex Tetty replacement but it's also that he's come from the Danish league and obviously we know Timu Puki came from the Danish league so it's important to remember that there is talent everywhere Kieran Scott said it on this channel when Connor interviewed him. They know that there's talent everywhere. There's Premier League talent everywhere. Um, and Timo Pukki came from that league. He's just one of the case studies from the Danish league who've come over to Norwich City or come over to England and played quite well. And I do sort of fear if we do sign him, there'll be a little bit of hesitation, maybe um, a call for a lack of ambition because we're not signing a household name, which I think there'll always be. However, then murmurs seem to get quieter each, each transfer window. But it's just sort of this idea that there is talent everywhere. And I've said that three times now, but it is really important to remember that um what is also interesting is that this season the 1920 season in 29 games he got 11 yellow cards which I think says that he's probably more of a crunching tackle type player a bit more of an Alex Tetty in terms of the fact that maybe he's not afraid to get a yellow card maybe he's a, a bit more of an aggressive player um, now this is really clutching at straws in terms of looking at interesting stats about him but the 11 yellow cards could suggest that he's a bit more physical throws himself about a bit more which is something that Norwich have really lacked last season so that could be the sign of a lesson learnt um, um, obviously, the transfer has to actually, one, go through and two, um, be announced and three, actually work. Um, but I think the yellow cards could uh, signify maybe that um, he's that type of player, which, as I said, Norwich have lacked. We've really lacked that sort of bite in the middle of the park, um, which could be promising. Um, in terms of interesting other stats, he's also, he made his senior, leg, uh, senior league debut at 18, sorry, which is... Um, 
I think it's good for a young player to sort of play senior football as early as they can because the lessons they'll then learn and then at such a young age like that you go one way or the other which is you, you succeed or you regress, take a step back and maybe sort of go again um, but he's been playing league football or senior league football since he was 18 years old which obviously fits the bill at Norwich City because we love to give youngsters a chance as we've seen with the players like Jamal Lewis, Ben Godfrey, Max Ahrens um, Emmy Buendia I suppose to an extent, Todd Cantwell etc um, also he's been capped for Denmark's under 18s, 20 uh, and 21s which is um, it's pretty impressive you know to play for your country at any sort of level um, any country really is always impressive to play now in terms of knowing stuff about him this that's all I know and obviously you can see I keep looking down I'm looking down at my notes um, and that is everything that I have written down so I'd imagine He's also a regular starter for his team, which is important to remember. Um, so I'd imagine that this signing, sort of in conclusion, is an Alex Tetty replacement as well as Alex Tetty. I don't know how you want to look at it. Um, but I, it could be one that works very well. He's six foot, as I said, very tall, very physical, loves to get a yellow card, um, which, you know, the championship won't go amiss in terms of the fact of the, the physicality of the league, the brutality of the league sometimes. Um, but I think this could be the next gen Alex Tetty. And obviously, we know we should still trust Kieran Scott, uh, Stuart Weber, and their transfer methods and the players they bring in. I think it's easier to integrate a player into English football through the Championship than the Premier League because I think there's less stakes in the Championship. However, there are going to be pretty big ones um, for Norwich City specifically because we're going to lose our underdog mentality. Um, another thing as well is that you can also play centre-back. So this could be the Danish version of Ibrahim Amadou. We never know. Um, I still think it's kind of sad that Amadou left because I, I, I do think he was um, a decent player. However, um, this is... Uh, Jacob Sorensen, I think that's how you say it, Jacob Sorensen, I don't, I don't want to butcher that name any more than what I already have, um, but that's everything I know about him, which I hope has informed you a little bit more, um, I hope we get excited about him, because I think we should get excited about every signing, um, obviously, you know, if, they, if it pans out to be another poor one, I think Stuart Webber could find himself a bit under the cosh, however, in the Championship, there's a little less pressure on a signing to um, blend into English football, because the game isn't as technical in the Championship as it is in the Premier League, the technicality of the Championships is improving, like, I'm not, I'm sort of not bad I think the championship but it's obviously no way well not no way near but it's not as good as in the Premier League so hopefully he can adapt um, but yeah my, my, my knowledge is based off um, Transfer Market um, the website and also the pink and article that basically said he's joining, um, which is an interesting thing. I didn't actually read about a fee or anything, um, but yeah, I don't think that really matters at this point, to be honest with you, because we know Norwich aren't going to spend sort of copious amounts of money on a player. But that is just about everything I know. I hope I've informed you a little bit more on this player. Hopefully we can get behind him and see him in the flesh next season, um, whenever that may be. I'm not actually sure yet. Um, but yeah, that is just about everything. Make sure you let, let me know your thoughts on uh, Jacob Sorensen, if you're going to be excited for him to play for Norwich City, um, what you want from him, what you want from that type of signing. Is it an instant impact? Impact. Are you happy to let him grow at the club and sort of we'll see the fruits of him a bit later? But um, but yeah, um, hopefully uh, he plays well for Norwich City at some point, which is just all we want. Hopefully he has a bit of heart and a bit of character about him. Um, but that is literally just about everything for the fourth, fifth time now. Uh, so until next time, we'll see you again very, very soon.